This is Catholic Challenge Live on the Living Bread Radio Network. Teams will test their knowledge of the Catholic faith. Join us on this journey as we navigate our way from B.C. to A.D. and everything in between. Today's defenders of the faith will take up their shield and sword to compete for prize money for their organization. Are you ready for the challenge? And now here's your host, Michael Roberts. Hello and welcome to Catholic Challenge Live. Today we are at Canton Central Catholic High School. We're glad to be on the road, take the show on the road. We have two teams that will compete, testing their knowledge of the Catholic faith. All of the prize money earned today will stay right here at Canton Central Catholic High School. So before we begin our game, we want to find out how to play. I want to invite up uh, Maria Dick. She is the chair of the theology department here at Canton Central. She has the rules for us. Maria? In round one, each team will answer five questions. Correct answers are worth 10 points each. There is no penalty for incorrect answers. And if all five questions are answered correctly, you'll be given a bonus question worth 25 points. All right, thank you, Maria. So here we go. Our teams today are, des are designated by their school colors. So we've got a white team and we've got a green team. So playing for the white team today is Serena Billman and Jared Vlakovsky. They are playing for the white team. They're both seniors here at Canton Central. Also, we've got Stone Serpilla and Olivia DeRuza. They are playing for the green team today. So teams, welcome. Glad to have you with us. Let's play Catholic Challenge here. We'll begin with the white team. Serena Billman, you are the team captain. Here we go, round number one. Question number one, which of these feasts is the most significant of all Christian feasts? Christmas, Easter, or Good Friday? Easter. Yeah, it is indeed Easter. Question number two, St. Anthony of Padua was a follower of what other very famous saint? St. Francis of Assisi, St. Benedict, or St. Thomas Aquinas? Need an answer. Can you repeat the question? Yeah, St. Anthony of Padua was a follower of what other very famous saint? St. Francis of Assisi, St. Benedict, or St. Thomas Aquinas? St. Thomas Aquinas. No, the correct answer there is St. Francis of Assisi. Here's question number three, true or false? As stewards of creation, we are charged with its respectful use. True or false? True. Absolutely true. Pope Francis wrote all about that. All right, question number four, which disciple looked after Jesus's mother, Mary, after the death of Jesus? Was it Nicodemus, John, or Mary Magdalene? Mary Magdalene. No, the correct answer there is John, the beloved disciple. Question number five, Abraham referred to Lot as his brother, but how was Lot actually related to Abraham? Grandson, nephew, or not related at all? Not related at all. No, the correct answer there, nephew. All right, guys, at the end of the first round, you've got 20 points. We're going to move on now to the green team, Stone Serpilla and Olivia DeRusa. They are playing for the green team. Here we go, guys. Round number one starts for you right now. Question number one. These people were constantly questioning the injustices of the kings and trying to call the people back to God. They were whom? Heralds, prophets, or judges? Can you repeat the question? Absolutely. These people were constantly questioning the injustices of the kings and trying to call the people back to God. They were whom? Heralds, prophets, or judges? Prophets. Absolutely right. Question number two, true or false? Mortal sin is the same as an accumulation of venial sins. True or false? False. Yeah, that is absolutely false. Question number three, we are commanded to love our enemies. This includes doing what to him or her? Forgiving, avoiding, or ignoring? 
for giving? Correct. Question number four. This saint was born in Mexico in 1474. His feast day is December 9th. He became the first Roman Catholic indigenous saint from the Americas. The Blessed Mother left an image on his tilma when she appeared to him in 1531. Is it Saint Juan Diego, Saint Paolo, or Saint Antonio? Saint Juan Diego. You got it. Question number five. The Israelites were afraid of the other people of the promised land and did not want to go forward to enter because the people were cannibals, giants, or dwarfs. Cannibals. No, the correct answer there is giants. Numbers 13 is where that story comes from. They went ahead to check out the promised land and they found a land flowing with milk and honey, but also very large people. All right, at the end of round number one, green team, you are in the lead with 40 points. The white team trailing with 20 points. Still a very close game for us here as we get things started. It's time for our first break of the game. When we come back, we will introduce you to our contestants. Stay with us. You're listening to Catholic Challenge Live here on the Living Bread Radio Network. Since 1919, the Ziegler family has served the community with trusted auto service and name brand products. 20 locations, 97 years, serving others. Ziegler Tire is a proud sponsor of Catholic Challenge. Find out more at ZieglerTire.com. For over 25 years, St. Raphael Bookstore has been your source for all things Catholic. We offer resources to help you learn and defend the faith. St. Raphael Bookstore, a sponsor of Catholic Challenge, online at catholicbook.net. And welcome back to Catholic Challenge Live right here on the Living Bread Radio Network. I'm your host, Michael Roberts, and today we are on location at Canton Central Catholic High School. It's great to be here. And today our competitors are Serena Billman and Jared Velosky. They are playing for the white team. They're seniors here at Canton Central. We also have Stone Serpilla and Olivia DeRuza. They are on the green team. They're also seniors here at Canton Central. So let's take a moment now and meet our teams. We'll begin with the white team. Uh, Serena Billman, you are the team captain, a senior. Uh, in speech and debate, you've got a lot of great memories about that. It's a lot of fun to be in that. Yeah, it's been a really great time being involved in that. You learn a lot of good communication skills, I think, in the midst of that. And then being a communication major myself, that's what I like about the speech and debate. Yeah, it, it really has helped with good in school and such sure what about your future plans what do you want to do after graduation uh i'm going to be going to akron and getting my undergrad in environmental science and then hopefully go on to be a marine biologist oh very good all right well congratulations and good luck in your future endeavors your partner is jared velosky and uh, jared you are a senior here you want to go into nursing i see right oh yes uh I want to go into nursing like my mom and my sister. It's just always been a part of me. Yeah, so might as that. well keep it in the family, right? Might as well, yeah. Yeah. Where do you go to church? I go to uh, St. Joan of Arc Parish, which is right next to here at Central Catholic. All Very right. close. Yeah. And it says here, obviously, you've been pretty involved here the past four years, been a part of many different things, even bowling. Yes, I actually got my first varsity letter in a sport in bowling this nice. year. I was kind of happy about that. Yeah. So, yeah. Why not? Hey, Why that's not? one more than I. I had no varsity letter when I was in high <laughs> yeah. school. So, that's one up on me. All right. Well, Serena, Jared, uh, thanks again for being here. And again, good luck on all your future endeavors as you graduate from high school here. Let's move over now to the green team, Stone Serpilla and Olivia DeRusa. Uh, Stone, I'll start with you. So, You've got an interesting thing here. I have to mention it. You and your collarbone obviously don't get along. You broke your collarbone on the same game play in eighth grade and senior year, third play of the scrimmage. Yeah, it was early, right before the season started, and both times I had to sit out the entire year. So what's wrong with your collarbone? 
must be pretty fragile. I guess so. I know. Well, you bring in football, basketball, and baseball, but also let's talk about your future plans. What do you want to do when you graduate? Uh, so I'm going to be attending High Point University in North Carolina, and I'm going to major in accounting. Very good. All right. Well, Stone, thanks a lot for playing with us here, and good luck to you. Your partner, Olivia DeRuza, she is with us, a big volleyball player here at Canton Central, and your uh, future endeavors, biomedical engineering. What is yeah. that? I'm just a communication major, so explain to me what biomedical engineering is. Well, there's different like things that can go along with it, but I want to do the cell and tissue research aspect of wow. it. That's great. And you plan to go to OSU? Yep. You're going to be a Buckeye down in Columbus. Yeah, All right. Columbus. And not surprising here, your favorite subject is AP biology. So yeah. So kind of all goes hand in hand. Yeah. All right. I really like it. And Got a lot of great memories, too, being here at, at uh, Central over the four, past four years. Yeah. All the time. Especially with volleyball, the district championship. Yeah. Probably my favorite memory. All right. Absolutely. All right. Stone, Olivia, thanks again for playing here. We're going to move on now to our next round of play. But before we do that, I want to once again invite up Maria Dick. She is the theology chair here at Canton Central, and she's got the rules for us. In round two, each team will answer five questions. Correct answers are worth 15 points each. There is no penalty for incorrect answers, and if you answer all five questions correctly, you'll be given a bonus question worth 25 points. All right, Maria, thank you very much for that. We're going to move on now to round number two. We'll begin with the white team, Serena and Jared. Here we go, guys. Question number one. The failure to do something which one can and ought to do that happens advertently and freely is what type of sin? Ignorance, commission, or omission? Can you please repeat the question? Absolutely. The failure to do something which one can and ought to do that happens advertently and freely is what type of sin? Ignorance, commission, or omission? Omission. Omission, and that's why we say in the confidi or at Mass, I confess to Almighty God and to you, my brothers and sisters, in what I have done and in what I have failed to do. Sins of omission are what we have failed to do. Question number two, true or false? The liturgy of the word is a less important part of the Holy Mass than the liturgy of the Eucharist. True or false? False. Yeah, they are both equally important to the holy sacrifice of the Mass. All right, question number three. Catholics believe that in the Eucharist, the bread and wine become the body and blood of Christ through what process? Magic, transubstantiation, or epiphany? Transubstantiation. <laughs> I heard somebody whisper magic. It is not magic. Transubstantiation is the correct answer there. All right. Question number four. The death, resurrection, and ascension of Jesus is known collectively by what term? Martyrdom, incarnation, or paschal mystery? Paschal mystery. You got it. Paschal mystery. Question number five. For what amount... Did Judas betray Jesus? 30 pounds of gold, 30 pieces of silver, or 300 gold coins? 30 pieces of silver. You got it. That was the price. All right. That sound means you got all five of those right. We move on now to the bonus question. Here it is, guys. Worth 25 points. At Pentecost, Jesus' presence was given to the church through the power of what? The Holy Spirit, transubstantiation, or baptism? The Holy Spirit. From Acts chapter 2, we call it Pentecost. That's it. All right, congratulations. That is a round sweep for you, Serena Billman and Jared Velosky. You have 120 points. We move over now to the green team. They hope to add more to that. Stone Serpilla and Olivia DeRuza. Here we go, guys. Round number two starts for you right now. Question number one, true or false? The Catholic Church believes that Jesus is fully God and fully human. True or false? True. It is true. Question number two, in the apostle, excuse me, in the gospel of Mark, Jesus healed the mother-in-law of which apostle? Judas, 
Peter or Andrew? Peter. St. Peter, you got it. Question number three. As Catholics, we believe that the clearest and fullest sacrament of God's love comes to us in the person of whom? Mary, the Pope, or Jesus? Can you repeat the question? You got it. As Catholics, we believe that the clearest and fullest sacrament of God's love comes to us in the person of whom? Mary, the Pope, or Jesus? Jesus. You got it. Jesus Christ. Question number four. What saint prayed for years for her husband and mother-in-law's conversion? She also had to pray many years for the conversion of her son, St. Augustine. Is she St. Mary Magdalene, St. Teresa of Avila, or St. Monica? St. Monica. That's it, St. Monica. Here's question number five. According to Matthew chapter 7, verse 17, what does a good tree bring forth? Pretty blossoms, good fruit, or colorful leaves? Good fruit. Good fruit is the answer. All right, that sound means you got all five of those right, guys. We move on now to the bonus question. It's worth 25 points. Here we go. The visionary and highly symbolic work that concludes the Bible is called what? Cataclysm, catechism, or apocalypse? Catechism. No, the correct answer there, the apocalypse. That is the visionary and highly symbolic work that concludes the Bible. But no worries. You got 115 points. So congratulations, Stone Serpilla and Olivia DeRuza, 115. White team, Serena Billman and Jared Velosky, you've got 120 points. We're just about ready to move on now to round number three. But before we do, we always like to pause and give a quick nod to our sponsors because without them, our game would not be possible. So we say thanks to Ziegler Tire and St. Raphael Books and Gifts because of their generosity, all of the prize money is from them and we're so thankful to have them on board with us to continue to partner with all of you listening to learn more about the Catholic faith but also to support Catholic education here in Northeast Ohio. All right now on to round number three once again here is Maria Dick with the rules. In round three each team will answer five questions. Correct answers are worth 20 points each. There is no penalty for incorrect answers, and if all five questions are answered correctly, you'll be given a bonus question worth 25 points. All right, here we go. Round number three. We'll start with the white team. That is Serena Billman and Jared Velosky. Here we go, guys. Round number three starts right now. Question number one, the church's role is to carry on Jesus's work of building what? Bigger church buildings, the kingdom of God, or more statues? The kingdom of God. Yeah, absolutely. Question number two, it's true or false. A person who is meek can also be called a Gentile. True or false? True. <laughs> No, it is false. Actually, a Gentile is a non-Jew. That's the definition of a Gentile. Question number three. This saint is the patron of families. He was the foster father of Jesus. He has two feast days on the liturgical calendar, March 19th and May 1st. Is it St. Thomas, St. Joseph, or St. Anthony? St. Joseph. You got it. St. Joseph. Question number four, according to Matthew chapter five, theirs is the kingdom of heaven. Who are they? The poor in spirit, the poor and lonely, or the poor in money? Poor in spirit. Correct. Question number five, in the parable of the leaven, what is leaven more commonly known as? Flour, sugar, or yeast? Flour. <laughs> No, the correct answer there is yeast. That's what leaven is. All right. At the end of round number three, guys, you have 180 points. Let's move over now to the green team, Stone Serpilla and Olivia DeRusa. You have 115 points. Round number three starts for you guys right now. Here's question number one. The birth 
of the forerunner of Jesus Christ is foretold by the Archangel Gabriel. This forerunner was a cousin of Jesus. Who is he? John of the Cross, Simon the Cyrenian, or John the Baptist? John the Baptist. St. John the Baptist. Question number two, what are you reminding yourself of when you cross yourself with holy water when you enter the church? Baptism, the flood, or the tears of Christ? Baptism. Correct. Question number three, what did God do on the seventh day when he had completed the work of creation? Created the Holy Spirit, rested, or created the saints? Rested. He rested on the seventh day. Question number four, this saint converted Ireland and banished all snakes from the country. His feast day is March 17th. St. Patrick, St. Blaise, or St. George? St. Patrick. You got it. Question number five, an angel of the Lord appeared to the shepherds living in the field near the place of Jesus' birth. The angel said, you will find a baby wrapped in clothes and lying in a manger. What heralded Jesus' birth to the wise men? Angels, shepherds, or a star? A star. We have seen his star, his star in the east. All right, guys, you got all five of those right. Let's move on now to the bonus question. It's worth 25 points. Here we go. In Genesis chapter 11, the people said, Come, let us build ourselves a city with a tower that reaches to the heavens so that we may make a name for ourselves. Where did this take place? Bethlehem, Barcelona, or Babel? Babel. Yeah, absolutely right. And that is a round three sweep. So congratulations, Stone Serpilla and Olivia DeRuzzi. You are now in the lead with 240 points. The white team, Serena and Jared, you've got 180 points. It is time now for another quick timeout. But when we come back, we've got our challenge round. And we'll find out who the winner is following that challenge round. Before we go to break, though, we always love to leave a question with you, our listening audience. So here you go. You can play along at home. In the Roman Catholic Church, the seal of confession is the absolute duty of priests not to disclose anything that they learn from penitents during the course of the sacrament of penance. How long must the priest maintain this seal? We'll give you the answer right after this. You are listening to Catholic Challenge here on the Living Bread Radio Network. The Living Bread Radio app is perfect for those times when you are away from the listening area. Just search Living Bread Radio at Google Play or the iTunes Store. It's totally free and has lots of great features. Proclaiming the truth with the Living Bread Radio app. And welcome back to Catholic Challenge Live here on the Living Bread Radio Network. Once again, we are here at Canton Central Catholic High School. We're having a lot of fun here, and it's all going to the school, all of our prize money here today. Well, before our break, we left you, the listening audience, with a question. In the Roman Catholic Church, the seal of confession is the absolute duty of priests not to disclose anything that they learn from penitents during the course of the sacrament of penance. How long must the priest maintain this seal? The answer, of course, is forever. A priest cannot break the seal to save his own life, to protect his good name, to refute a false accusation, to save the life of another, to aid the course of justice, or to avert a public calamity. So it is an absolute seal forever. All right, we've got a great game going here. The green team is in the lead. Stone Serpilla and Olivia DeRusso with 240 points. Meanwhile, the white team, Serena Billman and Jared Velosky, you've got 180 points. Still anyone's game, and we move now into the challenge round. It's a little bit different. Once again, here's the chair of the theology department here at Canton Central, Maria Dick. She's got the rules. Our challenge round combines knowledge and speed. The first team to ring in may answer the question. If the answer is incorrect, 
No points are lost, but the other team will have the opportunity to hear the question in its entirety. Correct answers are worth 30 points each, and in case of a tie at the end of this round, we will have a tiebreaker question. The team with the most points at the end of this round will be awarded $200 for Canton Central Catholic, and the losing team will be awarded $50 for their efforts as well. All right, Maria, thank you very much. Contestants, hands on your buzzers. The challenge round starts right now. Question number one, at the age of 12, Jesus was left behind in Jerusalem. Where did his parents find him? White team. The temple. That is it. Question number two, this sacrament helps a person regain mental and physical health if that is God's will for the person. White team. Anointing of the sick. Yeah, viaticum or last rites. It's got a couple of different names. Question number three, Jesus' cousin was born six months before Jesus. His mother's name is Elizabeth and his father is Zechariah. White team. John the Baptist. You got it, John the Baptist. Question number four, this saint was the inspiration for Santa Claus. White team. St. Nicholas. St. Nick, you got it. Question number five, this woman is known as the mother of the church and the immac... Green team. Mary. The Blessed Virgin Mother, known as Mother of the Church and the Immaculate Conception. All right, white team is in the lead now with 300 points. Green team, you have 270 points. Oh, and that sound means that we are running short on time, so we've got one more question left here in the game. So here we go, guys. This Old Testament leader led the Israelites in the march around Jericho. White team. Moses. I knew it was No, that is not right. I, I will repeat the question. Green team, you'll have the opportunity to answer. Here we go. This Old Testament leader led the Israelites in the march around Jericho. On the seventh day of their march, they all shouted and the walls of Jericho fell down. Who was it? Abraham. <laughs> No, the correct answer there is Joshua. Joshua. All right. That is the game. And so we are saying congratulations to the white team, Serena Billman and Jared Velosky. 300 points. And so congratulations. You have earned $200 for Canton Central Catholic High School. Our thanks as well go to Stone Serpilla and Olivia DeRusa with 270 points. Uh, a job well done. You've earned $50 for the school. So together, both teams have earned a total of $250 for Canton Central Catholic High School. A check will be presented today to the principal. Special thanks once again to our sponsors, Ziegler Tire and St. Raphael Books and Gifts, whose generous support provides our prize money. I'm Michael Roberts, and until next time, do your part and defend the faith. We'll see you next week for another edition of Catholic Challenge right here on the Living Bread Radio Network. You've been listening to Catholic Challenge Live, a production of the Living Bread Radio Network in Canton, Ohio. If you'd like to be a part of the program, email quiz at livingbreadradio.com. For a podcast of this show where you can listen on demand, go to livingbreadradio.com and join us next time for another edition of Catholic Challenge Live.